So right here we've got the rigid six gallon pancake air compressor. We'll go over a few things with you. First thing you wanna know before you use this air compressor is that it's got a break-in period of 30 minutes. Or secondly, I wanna tell you that you need to use a 12 gauge or better extension cord or your unit's gonna overheat. So if you've got one of these that's overheating or any other kind of pancake air compressor, any kind of air compressor that's overheating, you're probably using the wrong size electrical cord. So this is a 12-3. So we're gonna plug this in. You wanna turn this all the way. You wanna pull this out and turn it all the way counterclockwise till it stops. I'm gonna go back here on the back and open this valve up. I'm right here on the side and you want to turn it on and let this unit run for 30 minutes. We'll just go over a few things on this air compressor. You've got two outlets here for plugging in your air lines. This, this knob right here controls your outlet pressure. This is your tank pressure. With the valve open on the back, you won't have any tank pressure. You close the valve on the back, you'll have tank pressure. The outlet pressure is the pressure that is the minimum or maximum that your nail gun or paint gun, whatever it is, uses. And that's what you want to set it at. Then you've also got a bleeder valve here. You want to pop that to release the air pressure if you need to release it real quick. When you go to plug in your air hose, you want to have this turned all the way counterclockwise till it stops so that you have no outlet pressure and when you disconnect it you want to do the same thing you want to turn this all the way to the left counterclockwise till you have no outlet pressure and then disconnect your uh air lines i know we never do it but to keep the hose from going and popping back at you that's what you want to do this is the end of the 30 minute break-in period turn that off Turn down here on the bottom, close that valve. Now we're gonna let her fill up with air, all right? Let's see how long it takes. It's 12, 16. <laughs> It took three minutes to get to 150 PSI. That's not too bad. Now that you've got your air compressor full of air, you want to set the PSI. Let's say that our PSI takes 50 uh, minimum PSI. So you just turn your, your valve to the right to it gets to where you need it. Let's say it takes 75 PSI. And then to get it back down, you just turn it back to the left. That's how you set the PSI for the tool that you're using now you need to drain the tank right turn the power switch off unplug it you want to get this down to about 20 to about 20 psi all right let go of that come around here to the back and turn your drain valve You want to tilt your air compressor just a little bit to get all the water coming out. You see those ice pellets that came out there? Ain't that pretty cool? All right, close this back. So let's say for some reason your uh, air compressor overheats. The first thing you want to do to reset it is turn the power off. Unplug it. Let it sit for 30 minutes so the unit will reset itself. 30 minutes is up. Plug it back in. Turn it on. The unit should work. The main thing that these overheat by is because you're using too small of an extension cord. That's what I found in the past. I burned up an air compressor by using too small of an extension cord. This was around 130 with tax. So in the video description down below, there'll be a link to be able to get one like this or one that you may find different that you like better than this. But six gallon air compressor, I mean, you can't beat that. That's enough to fill up a lot of stuff and it's a lot of nails you can shoot with it and it's very portable it doesn't say how much it weighs but i want to say it probably weighs about maybe 20 pounds but it's very portable if you got any questions leave it in the comment section down below and i'll try my best to answer the questions about this rigid six gallon air compressor